Hello, and welcome to another edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Zilan Chen. I'm a director in the Structured Credit Group here at Standard & Poor's. With me today is John Lampasona, another director in the Structured Credit Group. Today's topic is recent developments in tobacco securitization. So John, I understand that there are some recent developments in the tobacco settlement-backed securitization sector, especially relating to non-participating manufacturer or NPM adjustments. So first off, what are NPM adjustments? Well, I think the easiest way to describe it is the MSA allows the participating manufacturers to withhold a certain portion of their MSA payment if they believe that they're losing market share to the M NPMs due to cost disadvantages caused by the, N the MSA. So that's the NPM adjustment piece. Now the MSA has a three-part test to determine whether or not the PMs can withhold. So one part of that is whether or not the states are diligently enforcing their MSA. And that's the piece that's been in arbitration for the past 10 years. So what has been the recent developments? So since 2003, the PMs have been withholding this portion of the MSA. And we haven't had any resolution until this past September. In this September, an arbitration panel ruled that six states were not diligently enforcing their model statute for the sales year 2003. Now these six states represent about 14 and a half percent of the annual MSA payment and none of them have securitizations rated by S&P. So what does this mean from a securitization perspective? Well it's a generally good outcome for the other states. They'll most likely receive their portion of the disputed payment amount sometime next April. But you need to keep in mind that this is only for sales year 2003, and there's no guarantee what the following years, what the outcome will be. Uh, the other thing to note is for securitizations issued post-2003, they didn't necessarily pledge these payments to the transaction. But considering that this has been in arbitration for so many years, this uh, fact that we're experiencing some resolution is definitely a positive sign. Well, thank you for that insight, John. And thank you for tuning in to another edition of Credit Matters TV.